Hey friends, we are gonna work on a ship in a bottle today. And you can see this is pencil first, and then I go in with a marker to go over it. Because that can sometimes be difficult to see on these tutorials, I'm gonna work on the iPad and show you how to do it. So the first thing we're gonna draw is kind of just a big rounded rectangle. And you gotta remember, we gotta leave some space over on the side for the neck of the bottle. So we're gonna draw our jar or our, like our bottle, but only over like three quarters of the page. So here we go. I'm gonna be, I can zoom in and out while I'm here. <laughs> so I'll be doing a little bit of that. But the first thing we wanna do is this is the pencil layer, so I'm drawing it in blue. So the first thing we want to do is kind of get our get our rectangle area in here. So that's our jar, our bottle, I'm sorry. Maybe your ship's in a jar, we don't know. And then we can kind of bring the neck of the bottle up like this, and this is just pencil. We're gonna erase this later. So I'm coming up and I'm kind of making, this is where the top of the bottle is. What I'm gonna have is a little rope around my bottle. So here, this is gonna be my rope, just a big rectangle. And then it'll have some texture on it. That's my rope. And then sticking out the top of the bottle, I'm gonna have a little raggedy piece of cork. And then we'll also have some cork sticking down into the bottle. So now we've got that all sketched out. And later we'll erase this, but for now we're just gonna leave it there. Inside our bottle, I think the first thing that we wanna do is have our little ocean wave. And that's how I like to draw ocean waves. You can draw them however you want to. I'm gonna make a clipper ship in here. You can see my ship has three beams, three little flags, and that's really it. Um, I haven't done a lot of decorating. That can come later. So first, let's draw our ship. I'm gonna come straight across. And my ship's gonna be sort of pointy at the edges and it goes underneath the waves. So that's the top of the ship. Good times, good times. Then we will have our three, what are these masts? Our three things that are holding the big poofy sails. And I made the one in the middle taller you can do that, you don't have to. Uh, they'll have like a little flag on each of them. You can make your flags wavy or straight. Those are a couple of ways to make flags. You probably wanna make them all the same way, uh, but those are just some ideas. Then, so our sails, each of these sails is going to kind of look like a D. But what I'm gonna do is draw, we gotta remember we kinda have a, I'm gonna think that we need to leave room for our, we don't want our sails to overlap. So this one is gonna be taller. And what I'm gonna do is kind of go ahead and draw the top and the bottom of it. And the wind is blowing it. So that's gonna go in like that. And this is gonna come out like that. So there's our first sail. This one can have, let's put two on this one. So we'll have, let's see, we'll have one up here. Hey, all right, we'll have one up here. And this one can be a little bit smaller. And then we'll put our shape on it. And then this one down here can be bigger. We will come back and put our little shape in it. 
And then let's put three on here. I mean, why not? All right, so one, two, they don't have to be the same size or they can, three. So that's three sets, ha <laughs> ha. Okay, then we're gonna come in and put our curvy lines on them. Curvy curve, Mwah. This is pencil, so I can be kind of messy. So we're just adding those curved lines. Curve, curve, and that's the basics, y'all. That's about it. Uh, we can do a, we can do little white caps on our waves if we'd like to. And now I'm ready to head on into my marker layer. So what I've done is I've made two different layers. So I've worked in my pencil layer. I'm switching to marker now. And I'm gonna go into black. Now these are the lines we're putting down and these are our lines for real. So what should we do first? The outline of our bottle. So I'm gonna kind of come around and because I know this is in front, I'm gonna make the outline of the rope that is on the front of my bottle. Perfect. Let's go make this layer a little bit lighter so you all can see my marker layer better. There we go. All right, then we can make our bottle. So I'm going to, let's see, what's the best way to do this? I think I'm just gonna come down and around and over and come down and around and over and just round that edge and round that one and hopefully I'll meet over here somewhere. There we go. So we've got the outline of our bottle. Next, let's go ahead and make our, oh, we didn't outline the mouth of our bottle yet. There we go. So now we have the mouth of the bottle and we can go ahead and make this cork. So the cork is straightish edges and then the bottom can be kind of wiggly. And at the top, we're gonna to do the same thing. Sides are straight and the top is kind of wiggly. And the way we know this is cork is with some pattern. So let's go in, you can just kind of make some little, make some little round things and you can do the same thing here. They don't have to be super exact, precise. Mine certainly are not. And then kind of just some other little dots. Just give it some texture. All right, and we're not putting texture here. This is the mouth of the bottle. So we are leaving this the way it is. We've got our cork texture. So I'm gonna zoom back out and let's go ahead with our waves. I'm gonna just trace pretty much over exactly where I already put some waves and end at my bottle. And then we can go and add the little white caps. That can be just some sort of a wiggly line. You don't have to add the white caps if you don't want to, but I think it's cute. I like it. You can also add some more waves in here. You can have like, you can have a mermaid, you can have some fish, <laughs> whatever, whatever looks good. All right, on to our boat. 
the ship part here, the part that people will be in, is first. Simple, simple. And when we get up here, it's going to be a little bit more complicated because we don't want that line in the middle of all of our sails. What we'll do is first we will trace the sails that we made. So there's one. You may have more sails than me or you may have fewer. Totally fine. And maybe you even made a different kind of boat. That would be interesting to see what kind of boats everybody comes up with. All right, so we're just doing our sails. And since we already have them in pencil, we don't have to do any planning. We are just thinking ourselves through it. All right. You know, this is not the most amazing sail, but I am not too worried about it. Now I'm gonna come up and do my flags, but it's time for me to decide, do I want them to be straight or jagged or going upward? I love the way this little upward one looks. So we're gonna bring our flag pole. We're gonna skip over that part that is inside the sail. And then I like the wave, wave, wave point. Wave, wave, wave point. So I'm going to do that on all of my sails. Same thing here. I'll do this mast, but we go behind the sails and we don't see it. So wave, 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 point. Wave, 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 point. So now they're kind of doing the same thing. And here we'll put this down. And one tiny line here, and then I'll go wave, 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 point, and wave, 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 point. So there's my flags, and there's my flag pulls. But now that I have the basic gist of everything down, I can erase that back layer, and then I can start to add detail to what's going on. So you're gonna go to your pencil layer, and you're just gonna get your big eraser and erase it. But all I have to do is take it away and there it is. So this is what I've got when I erase my pencil. Pretty similar to what I did here. All right, now that we have everything drawn, I'm gonna go back to this one, erase it, and we can start adding detail together. So we've got our ship drawn. I'm coming back in with my black marker and I'm just gonna add some little details. You can put environment, you can put um, designs on the flags. I think this one is gonna be stripey. So the stripey flag here. I don't know if all of the sails have to match. Does anyone know? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe this is gonna be a very happy colorful ship. It's just, it's going to look like a circus. So I will go ahead and add some little stripes in here. It's what I do. If you want your ship to look less like a circus and more like a very serious ship, absolutely no offense. Do whatever your creativity is asking you to do. This is your ship. Have a good time. All right, I'm gonna make this one stripey also, because why not? Now I have to decide, is it gonna be daytime or nighttime in my bottle? I think it's gonna be nighttime, but I'm gonna make it cute, like as though someone hung things in, in this bottle for the ship to have a little environment. So like we'll have, a few little stars hanging down and maybe a moon that would be fun here we go i think a moon would be cool because we have all these curvy shapes here so i'm gonna make just a little crescent moon and then i'll make 
like some stars hanging down here. You can do however you want. If you want to do these parts in pencil and not marker, that's all right too. I just happen to be really good at drawing freehand stars. It's one of my favorite little things to do. So I'm gonna have some little stars hanging down. Let's put a few here too. Maybe another one over here that's hanging down a little bit lower. And I think I would like for my ship to have some planks. So I'm gonna make it, let's see, I'll give it a kind of a border. Oh, we can give our ship a name if we want to. But the way I'm gonna add detail for the planks on the ship, it's similar to when you make brick, kind of how you draw a brick pattern, but it's just, it's very slightly different. I ran over the top of my wave there, sorry wave. Sometimes it's just what happens. It'll be cute in the end, don't worry. Uh, I'm just gonna put some planks of wood and then you can leave it like this or you can kind of go through and make them different lengths. And so you don't wanna be right on top. You wanna be in a different place. So like here. Kind of like how when you put flooring in, you don't usually line up the seams. Some of these would have been longer and some shorter, I suppose, on my circus boat. Uh, let's see. And then we can put in just some little like nail heads. So kind of, I don't know if it'd be nails, whatever, <laughs> whatever they would use to stick the boards of the ship together. So I'm just putting two little dots next to some of these planks. So that's my pattern on my ship. We can come in, we could have, uh, maybe I'll have a little fish jumping out. We could have a telescope. Oh, that would be fun. I'm gonna put a telescope at the end here. So I'm gonna have, this is a wonky telescope, sorry telescope. So this is how we would see far away. And what might be on our deck? I'm not sure. I don't wanna draw out any people. This is not enough space for people. Maybe this star has a little buddy. It's kind of fun, right? That's adorable. All right, I like it. This star can also have a buddy. It's kind of silly. It's kind of a weird star. Oh well. Everybody has some buddies who are a little different. It's all right. And this star can be way far down. And depending on if you want yours to be realistic or cute, I'm gonna turn it, I'm gonna flip it over so you can still see the whole thing. I might do a few little clouds. <laughs> so there's a cloud, there's a cloud. We want to have a cloud coming from over here. 
one's kind of cute. All right, so there's a cloud. And we can flip it back over and see what it looks like. And if we think we need to add anything else. Oh, we need a cloud over here. All right, there's a cloud. Maybe for cuteness, I'm gonna put little bows where all my stars are. You might not always wanna make everything as cute as me. That's okay, this is the part where you just, your creativity can take you wherever you wanna go. It does not have to be just like mine. I love making stuff cute. Oh, it makes me very happy. We could put a little face on there. I'm not gonna put a face on the moon. That seems like a lot of work. All right. I have signed it, as you can see. And now you're ready to color or paint this. I don't know how you're gonna fill yours in. I, I don't even really know how I'm gonna fill mine in. Um, but we'll see. But that's the drawing part.